Hello, my name is David Brody, and I'm the author of a book entitled Morning and Celebration. Shabbat is a very special day for me, and not merely for the spiritual aspect of the day. When I light the candles on Shabbat, my regular routine stops. During the rest of the week, I'm extremely busy. Here are some of my activities. Let's start by the one closest to Shabbat. Twice a week on weekdays, I attend morning services at my synagogue. This involves getting up at 6.30 a.m., doing my morning exercises and being in shul, that is synagogue, by 7.30. Breakfast is almost always served after the service. I get back home at about 9.45 and get on with my day. On Monday mornings, I attend a Bible class at the synagogue. On Monday evenings, I attend a creative writing group. On Tuesday mornings, I tutor a student in English literacy. He's a charming man from Jamaica who has difficulty reading. I find that helping him is very rewarding. On Wednesday evenings, although not every week, I attend a Kabbalah class. Thursdays are free so far, but I have occasional subscription tickets to the theatre and modern ballet performances. So, by the time Friday rolls around, I'm ready for Shabbat. In the evening, I either entertain friends to dinner or go to their place. On Saturday mornings, I attend synagogue, a link with my heritage, my history and my community. In the afternoon, I read the newspaper and relax. By the time Shabbat ends, I feel reinvigorated and ready for another week of activities. So for me, Shabbat is a combination of spirituality, socializing and quality time alone. Without it, I'd be a wreck. Um, more of a wreck. Please contradict me.